All right, we have a very different kiss with this piece. This is done by Constantine uh, Brancusi. He was uh, deeply influenced by Auguste Rodin, who we're going to talk about in um, the Burgers of Calais piece. Uh, but he's definitely going to branch out from what Rodin did, which was a lot of um, realistic sculpture, whereas this one is reductive. It's very simplistic. And, um, and so that's definitely going to be using traditions of earlier styles. So Brancusi actually worked in Rodin's studio for some time, but clearly this is very different direction than what um, Rodin went. He was considered an outsider to the art world of Paris. He was a, a Romanian immigrant in which there was a long-standing peasant tradition of stone and wood carving. So this is also a time when most art from other cultures is starting to make its way into Paris, including African art, Native American art, and so on. And he may have been inspired by the semi-abstracted forms of much of the art that was beyond the Western tradition. So Brancusi is going to simplify his chosen subjects and trying to find the simplest and most elegant way to express the essence of his chosen works. The key words that we would say with his work is abstraction and non-objectivity. The sculpture seems so simple and forms are not detailed and the depiction of human body and anatomy. He makes an attempt to maintain the materiality of the block of stone. So that's still kind of the main subject is that this is a block of stone. Um, and uh, it maintains a cube shape and the stone is rough and not polished. And that might again be hearkening back to the archaic quality before the classical tradition. Figures here are only defined by a single line that separates the two, which also reveals one is a woman due to her longer hair and a slight definition of breast. And um, the, also um, the eyes of the two individual seem to come together to form almost like a cyclops effect of the two in an embrace. Um, the base where this stand is also important because Brancusi wanted it directly on the ground, not on a base. And so by doing that, he's rejecting the sophistication of a higher platform and looking instead for truth in nature. His intent of this sculpture is to express the concept of the wholeness of two individuals as one symbolized by a kiss. Um, Brancusi is known more for the uh, gold feather pieces that you see on the, on the screen. But really what he's trying to do in that quote, it says, what is real is not the external form, but it's the essence of things. So this is, there's definite symbolism with this, almost a cubist rendering of the male and female bodies. Um, and uh, their forms are interlocking with that rough surface, gives it a feeling of naturalism. And... Um, the person who uh, asked for this, the patron, was John Quinn, and he admired a small plaster version of the kiss that someone else had, so he asked this to be made. So there's actually a few of these um, that are similar across the different museums. Um, so this is the fourth stone version of the subject, and uh, the first version was Brancusi's earliest effort of stone carving, and that's actually in a Romanian museum. And um, he makes a few others um, after that. Um, okay, that's the, the kiss by Constantine Brancusi.